Hi friends, it's Priscilla from Heart and Soul Studio in Sutter Creek. Um, this afternoon, I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to paint the circle boards that you get in the kits for the backgrounds of various projects that we offer for the paint-alongs. Um, one of those projects is this cute little boots. You can put those right in the center, add a fun ribbon to the top. And another option would be our chicken. We've got the chicken, we've got a truck, we've got cowgirl boots, all sorts of really fun ideas. So to get a painted background, here's another, another little painted idea. So to get the background that you desire, this this is an option. Um, this little plank of wood here is about three and a half inches wide. I'm going to use this to create my shiplap effect. And I'm just going to use white paint and, and with black lines. So we'll use this as our straight edge. And I'm going to have staggered lines on this shiplap. You don't have to have staggered lines. You could just use a full straight board, but just to give it a little bit different look this time, I thought I'd try some staggered lines. So if you don't have a little piece of, of scrap lumber like this, then um, you can just eyeball it or you can measure out with a tape measure and ruler the three and a half inches and then just uh, make straight lines across your board and then just stagger it right here in this line so when you're staggering these um just try not to line them up you want to you know offset it a little And this does not have to be too, too perfect. So these two are pretty lined up. When I paint it in, I think I'll stagger this one one way or another just a touch, maybe more this way. And disregard this line. Okay. So I'm just gonna use some black craft paint. This is just acrylic. I am going to put my lines in first because I like the way it looks when it's all blended out after I come in with the paint, the white paint. If um, you don't feel like this makes sense for you and you'd rather paint the white in first, then by all means, just do whatever works best for you. I try not to put too much pressure on my bristles. That seems to give a pretty straight line. If you would prefer, you could just sacrifice a ruler here, and dip it in the paint, and then just drag straight across. This afternoon at my studio location at 42 Main Street in Sutter Creek. So hopefully um, you've had a chance to come in and paint with us. If you haven't, then I look forward to seeing you 
in the future when this shelter in place situation is passed. They offer paint along nights, sip and paints, with canvases or this kind of project. We make personalized signs. We offer birthday parties, bachelorette parties, all sorts of fun DIY project ideas for you. You can schedule a private party or you can join one of our our open studios with other guests. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean off the glass paint on my little liner brush so I keep it looking nice. When I rinse my brush out, I always like to make sure and uh, drag it to a point it rinses clean. So drag it to a point and then it'll stay nice and fresh for when you need it again. So I have this um, one, inch, one inch chip brush and I'm going to use some just white chalk paint. Really like the way chalk paint flows on the wood boards. Um, acrylic paint would work fine as well. Chalk paint just seems to have a nice consistency and um, it sands really pretty as well. Kind of paint away from the edge on these boards. That way um, you're keeping your sides clean. probably would have been easier to just go ahead and paint the whole board white and then do your black lines after. But we're here and it'll look it'll look good. I think a lot of times when I do these projects, I just do them. And then when you have to come back in and explain exactly what you're doing, it um, makes a little more sense sometimes. So I'm not really trying to get like a perfect perfection here because I am going to come back through and sand a lot of this off.
Another idea for the background on these circle boards is to stain the wood and just have more of a, a rich, kind of clean finished project. stain it gray or there's all sorts of different colored wood stains out there now um, when you purchase the kit you'll you'll get the the paint the black and white paint to paint it like like this and you could just do it all white you could do it all black or you can you know make some sort of um, distress look So if you're not familiar with the word shiplap, I think you could even think of this as kind of tongue and groove. Some sort of paneling. Okay, so to cut in those lines, just these smaller little corners, I'm gonna pick up a smaller acrylic brush and just paint in the edge, just little spots here. Our studio is located in uh, Sutter Creek, which is a historic gold mining town. It's got a lot of fun coffee shops and restaurants and boutiques and a music music venue, Sutter Creek Theater. It's got wine tasting galore and some really nice B&Bs for you to visit. You'll have to put Sutter Creek on your list of places to visit in the future. take this around so I can reach it without dragging my sleeve through anything. Okay, so there you have it. If you painted it over some of your black lines, you can pick up your craft brush, your little liner craft brush. Come back in and fill in some of those spots. I'm gonna leave most of my kind of rough, rough edges because as soon as this dries, I'm gonna come back in with a piece of sandpaper 
and rough it up a little more. So there you have it. So this would look really pretty painted like this. And then now you can put your artwork on display. Here's the little rain boots. chickens that you could also have on there and across that chicken you could write welcome or whatever welcome to our home or farmhouse whatever you'd like or there's this version where we've put the lace pattern it's just a sticker stencil overlay of the chicken we have all sorts of different fun options for you to consider. Anyway, have a great afternoon, and if you need anything, please feel free to contact me, Heart and Soul Studio, Sutter Creek. Take care.